want to talk about one of my favorite tools when it comes to trading, and that is Fibonacci retracements. What are Fibonacci retracements? Well, retracements is a term that we use when we're in a defined trend. All right. For example, we can see that since November 2022, the Bitcoin price has been in a clearly defined uptrend where we start with a low and we make a high, then we make a higher low, and then a higher high, and then a higher low, and then a higher high, and then a higher low, and then a higher high. Now notice something. As the price is getting higher and higher and higher, it doesn't go straight up. It goes up a lot and then down a little, and then up a lot and then down a little. And when we're in a trend and it goes up a lot, the part where it goes down a little bit is called a retracement. And I'm sure you've heard of the term, the trend is your friend and we want to trade with the trend. If price is getting higher over time, we want to be looking for long trades. And that is absolutely correct. But what we don't want to do is long after a big pump. Because if we long after a big pump, well, there's a good chance we're going to get a retracement. Now, the question becomes, where is that retracement going to go to? Because if we can long a higher low, well, we've essentially longed the bottom in an uptrend. And so this is where Fibonacci comes in. We use Fibonacci to time those higher lows in an uptrend or those lower highs in a downtrend. So make sure to like the video, make sure to subscribe to the channel, make sure to click the bell for notifications because we are bringing you the juiciest trading strategy and technical analysis videos here on YouTube. So here's how I like to use a Fibonacci retracement tool. First of all, we're gonna come over here to the Gone and Fibonacci tools and we're gonna click the Fibonacci retracement. Now, if we are looking for support after a retracement to the downside, what we are going to have to do first is identify the swing low and the swing high in the uptrend. So we can clearly identify this is our first low, this is our first high, and then we make a higher low. And then we go and we make a higher high. When you see a higher high is being put in and you start to see the rejection, now keep in mind this is the weekly time frame here, so we have lots of time to notice what is happening on the chart. We're going to pull this Fibonacci retracement tool right here. We're gonna click at that swing low, and then we're gonna drag it up to the swing high right here, and we can drag it across, and then we're gonna just click again. This is what the Fibonacci retracement tool is going to look like. Now, here's how I set mine up. Double click it, and the way I like to do it is I turn off the trend line, I turn off zero, I turn off one. I turn off the three, the one, the two, and the four, and I like to keep the 236 off. I typically keep the 0 0.5 and the 382, the 618 and the 786 on the Fibonacci retracement tool. And then I like to add in something called the golden pocket, the golden ratio. The way you're gonna add in the golden ratio is you're gonna click any one of these things here, and you're just gonna double click it and change it to a 0 0.65, okay? Then you're gonna go ahead, and I like to turn off the background, and I like to, put everything over here on the right hand side of my Fibonacci retracement tool. Now this is what it will look like after you set it up that way. And what are some areas that we want to be aware of? Well, in a very, very bullish trend, we're going to be watching for the 382, the 382 Fibonacci. Now what these numbers are telling us is what percent of the initial move have we retraced? So we get 100% of the move to the upside, right? And then and when we come to the 382, this means we've retraced 38.2%. 50% and then the golden pocket, 61.8%. Now, when we are looking at these macro uptrends, the place you really wanna pay attention to is going to be that 618 and 0.65 golden pocket. If you see price on a very high time frame like the weekly or the daily or even the four hour, put in a swing low and then put in a swing high, pull that fib from the low to the high and go and set an alert at the Fibonacci 618.65 golden ratio because it has a very, very high probability win rate of price getting a bounce. And if we take a look actually at what happens right here, we see something quite interesting. We get a move, swing low to swing high, and look at this. We get a big wick down on the weekly right to that Fibonacci golden pocket zone, and this gave us the long to the next high. Now, I actually did take this long trade. I remember it very, very clearly. Um, it was a pretty juicy one because that was a pretty big pump. Now check this out. The next time we put in a swing high up here, we can pull our fib from the swing low that we made down here to the swing high. And what do you know? We wick down 
right into the Fibonacci golden pocket where we can look for a long. And I actually did take that long as well because it was the Fibonacci golden pocket retest, right? We wait weeks for these things to happen and then they finally happen. Now, check this out. Where are we bouncing from right now? We are literally bouncing from, if we take the from the last swing low to the high, the Fibonacci golden pocket. Now, if that doesn't blow your mind enough, we can also use this for retracements in a downtrend. Now, one could look at this Bitcoin chart and say, you know what? Look, we had our low, our high, our higher low, our higher high. Now we've made a lower low. Potentially, we're going to make a lower high. If we go ahead and we take that Fibonacci retracement from the high that we made over here to the low, would you look at this? Where do we reject exactly from, right? This 618 golden pocket Fibonacci. In fact, this is a trade setup that I just recently gave in the Casper Crew VIP Discord. I gave the setup in advance. I'm actually still holding this short trade here in case we get more downside. We also did give the setup for the long trade from this little low right here in advance in the Casper Crew VIP Discord. But I digress. My point is the Fibonacci 618 is the most reactive level where we should be looking for some kind of a bounce or a rejection. So right now, the next level that I am personally looking at to trade on Bitcoin is going to be, you guessed it, the Fibonacci golden pocket from this local high to the local low. Now, just so you know, if you're looking for resistance, you're going to pull the fib from the swing high to the swing low. If you're looking for support, you're going to pull the fib from the swing low to the swing high. Okay, so my next level is going to be right around here at $45,000. Now, all of these fib levels can offer us a bit of a reaction. You can see right now at the 0.5 fib, we are getting a little bit of resistance. The 786 is also a great level. You can see here at the 382, we also did get a little bit of rejection from the downside. These are all areas where you should and could be looking for trades with other confluences. Now, Fibonacci is one of the main tools that I personally use for trading. Right? So now that you know how to pull it and what to look for, go ahead, back test, experiment a little bit. Now, guys, if you want to trade Bitcoin and altcoins along with me, I'm currently trading on two exchanges. The first one is called MEXC, the best deal on fees, literally also 0% spot fees, and you can hold many, many altcoins on spot. I'm also trading on ZoomX, an exchange, a centralized and a decentralized exchange in the same platform and guys if you want to join the casper crew where we give the setups in advance you can go to jasoncaspertrading.com click the link to join literally the best community in the world where we have an entire mini course in there as well as three instructors doing multiple live streams every single day showing you their trading levels showing you their plans plus a thriving community it is absolutely a great environment in the casper crew all right guys that is it for today's video may you all be very blessed in the name of Jesus, Yeshua, the Messiah, even if you are not religious, I still pray you and your family are super blessed. And I will see everybody in the next video. Peace.